Hi, so remember in video 1502 we disassembled this thing which is a car alternator and talked about how to control it. But of course we want to test something like that because there's nothing worse than putting this thing in a whole windmill contraption, getting it up there and finding you need to work on something else. And you want to do like a test bed where you can work out those ideas and do those electronic controls and do that gearing ratios without actually making the turbine and sticking it in the air, which would be an absolute pain. So you can work all that stuff out, then build your turbine. So what I use as a test bed is this. It's an upside down bicycle. It's brilliant because of course we have this big bicycle wheel going down to our small pulley wheel and that forms a gear ratio. Obviously here we've got a small cog going to the big cog where we're going to crank it and so we have another gear ratio. So we've got good gear ratios going on here and of course we can change those gear ratios by changing this to find out what happens. So an upside down bicycle might look a bit Heath Robinson, in fact it is, but it makes a brilliant test bed for testing things like what you're going to stick on your wind turbine. Now we input the energy here where we turn it so it's hand cranked, but clearly if you just turned and left that, left that the right way up and pedalled it, it would become a bicycle generator, which is kind of really cool. Obviously, we would put the blades right here and it becomes a wind turbine. If we put the blades right here and make it a water turbine where we have buckets going around, this little arrangement can test your generator for a whole variety of input you might want to do, like hand crank, bicycle type, water wheel, or wind turbine. So it's a great way of setting something up when you have a project in mind so you can test whether that project's going to work rather than building the whole thing and having to wait until you've built it, or indeed calculating it first, because calculations are always done on the ideal and what you get out it's usually nothing like the calculations you put in. So it's great to be able to test something. And if you like, that's what engineers do. Engineers will have a thought about something, build it, do maybe a mathematical model, and do all the calculations, but at the end of the day, they always test it. They always build something so they can test it. Why do you think they do that? If the maths was so brilliant, you wouldn't need to test it, but you need to test it. And so the test bed like this, like this is very easy to set up and tremendously useful. Now in 1502, we talked about this, and this has got a load of real good benefits about it for controlling the torque on the shaft for varying wind speed conditions, being one of the ideal things about it. Now we talked about a feedback mechanism, but I'm actually going to input voltage into the rotor and take the generation from the stator. So I've got the stator connected up to this little load here. It's my usual I love it load. It's an LCD, uh, sorry, uh, LED light up thing. Got it onto my meter. We're only reading volts, and I've got a power meter. And obviously, what I've got here is my recording device, so we can do a little pip in pip while we do that. Now, I've got this set at zero. What I'm going to do is set it at a volt. There we go, got it set at the vault. Now I turn this, that will light up, of course. There we go. Now under load, with an easy turn, we're putting in a vault, but we're getting three volts back out. Now we're also putting in 20, 240 milliamps, we'll be getting more milliamps back out, okay? So we can do that at a vault. If I put it up to 5 volts, it's going to take me nothing. I mean, the torque is going to increase, but so is the generation. blew my light up. <laughs> but as we increase the voltage we put into that, and the torque will increase, but the output will increase, and the output will always be greater than the voltage we're putting in there. And that proves that's the case. <coughs> and this makes a wonderful way of working those things out. 
So I thought I would introduce it to you. I can recommend you build something like that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.